Oh, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' was cracking its D. About to react to this vet. It's titled Sky Jackson's Baby Daddy Calls Her a Dumb B. After she revealed that she's pregnant, apparently, and um, Ray J threatens Pastor Bryant. What? Let, let, let's see what's going on in these ghetto streets. Let's watch. Okay, you guys, so I don't know what's going on with Ray J, but he is in the headlines because he threatened Pastor Jamal Bryant. Now, Pastor Jamal Bryant has a podcast that he self-named, and Ray J did an interview with him. Now, I'm guessing this interview didn't go how Ray J wanted it to go because he blasted him on his IG stories and threatened him. He said if he showed this interview, he was going to get snatched up out that pulpit. And that's a lot for Pastor Bryant. Shout out to Jamal Bryant. Shout out to Von Alvarez. But if y'all play that interview, somebody gets snatched off the pulpit. Don't play the interview. It's not clear. It was out of bounds. Me and Pastor Bryant need to talk because the way I was, why I was treated was 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 dirty and illegal. And I don't like it. And I don't want nobody to he play that the interview. Nonsense. I don't care if you're from the church or not. Like. Like, be respectful Yikes. and do people right. Don't call people out their name and don't make people feel like they're not safe in a place where they thought they were safe. I'm telling you right now. He tried for anyway. I don't trust him because he was married to Giselle Bryant <laughs> from the Real Housewives of Potomac and was cheating on this woman. You know, he stepped out on his family. Being a pastor, sleeping with women at the church. Oh, that is so disgusting. People look up to you and they are coming to you to worship the Lord, looking, you know, for guidance from you and you up in a draws. <laughs> That's trifling. That is trifling. So I, I, I don't trust this man. I mean, I don't trust Ray J either, but. I'm telling you this right now, shady. we need to work it out. Because if we don't, that's going to be a problem. And you see at the bottom, he wrote, think I'm playing. Now, side note, Ray J must be talking about hiring some goons to snatch him up off that pulpit because I don't know nobody who's scared of Ray J. I don't know nobody who gets intimidated by Ray J. So he must have a different plan going on. But that's not all, y'all. So a few hours after he posted that Ray video, some he posted <laughs> another video saying that somebody just tried to shoot at him. Oh. Just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me. And you want me to apologize? Fuck you. Now, I'm assuming oh, based off his last pastor? video, he got to be talking about pastor because oh. who else is he talking about who would want him to apologize? Now, I'm assuming they must have had some type of conversation. And maybe he told him, well, you need to publicly Shoot apologize. Us. And Ray J doesn't want to apologize. Now, that's just my guess. Now, as far as who tried to allegedly kill him... I don't even know because there's no details on that. There's nothing about it that has the came past the Now, Pastor Jamal Bryant did respond to Ray J's saying. threats, and this is what he said on his IG page. I was so grateful to recently interview one of the oh, few mavericks of this generation, Ray J, mm. who has been more than impactful in many different fields. It was both surprising and disheartening to wake up to unfound threats and baseless accusations directed at me. As part of our commitment to honest dialogue, we ensured that specific comments with potential legal ramifications were edited out of the interview to safeguard the best interests of a brother beloved. Our Jamal Bryan podcast podcast mission is to foster authentic and constructive conversations with thought leaders. And this episode was no exception. We are alive to take production that ordinarily makes no edits. However, in the spirit of brotherhood, it was mixed with an agreement that no other adjustments would be made. It's the Jamal Bryan podcast, let's be clear, endeavors to be earnest and transparent on every episode. Though private agreements have now been brought into the public eye, I refuse to be oh. embroiled in a battle that demeans our community and all that I stand for. I love my brother unconditionally and I stand on my agreed promise grace and peace to you all and he made it very clear that he is dropping the interview thursday on all platforms so before i wouldn't even have known about this interview i didn't even know pastor jamal Bryan had a podcast but now i'm gonna make sure i watch <laughs> so I wanna know, what do you guys so, think hmm. about ray j threatening past this makes it suspicious because it's like oh is it, 
Is this why they did this? Things be fake these days. They be fake. So maybe they both decided to do this to make a spectacle of the situation to bring attention to this interview and to the podcast. Cause look at what she said. I ain't never even heard of this podcast. And I don't even know if Ray J was going to be on there. But now I'm going to watch it. I ain't watching that bullshit. So to pull him <coughs> out that pulpit, do you think he would have made good on his threats? Oh, do you trusted. think he's okay with the podcast still showing that episode? Mm. Y'all yeah. let me know what Trifling. you think in What's the going, comments. Going on with but Scott. moving on to the next story. Okay, you guys. So Scott Jackson has finally revealed what we all knew that she is pregnant and she is good and pregnant. Okay. Yeah, she looks close. like she doesn't have much longer to go. But the father of her so child. She's proudly posting. She that she is preggers by this man. Looks like she doesn't have much longer to go. But the father of her This this is the baby daddy. Her child posted a post on his Facebook calling Scott Jackson all types of names. So this is his Facebook and he allegedly posted on WAP, I'm salty. I got this dumb A Disney Channel be pregnant. I hate this thrill foe. And somebody told him to delete it, which he clearly did. And he then posted these pictures right here of Scott being cute and pregnant mm, with the I mean, love emoji. Now Scott so came nice. out and defended her baby daddy. She said, his page was hacked. He never said this. End of Girl. story. Girl. Now, me personally, I am not buying it because the... Girl, who would hack Yerky Yerky? <laughs> who the fuck is this man? Who even knows anything about him or his page or even how to find him? And, and hack him for what? Girl. Girl. Maybe she does actually believe that because she's slow and that's what he told her. So she's taking it and running with it. But girl, let's use our brain for for a second. Ain't nobody hacked this man. And this this looks like something he would say. <laughs> oh, WAP. What is that? He probably says that all the time. Your stupid ass on WAP. Da, da, da. And you like, oh yeah, he was he was he was hacked. You know what, girl? First thing that celebrities always say when they have... He ain't even no celebrity. <laughs> Who is he? This is the first time I've even heard anything about a name from him. This Yerky Yerk that's on the screen right now. And hacking his Facebook of all things to hack. Are we, are we ever going to use common sense as a people, as a society? Ever? Ever? Not appealing and this shit got three reactions. Nope. The deleted is their page was hacked. It's the first thing they say. It's very cliche. Now, do I believe his page was hacked? Absolutely not. I believe he was mad at her in the moment or whatever, and he posted it, and he ended up deleting he it. Now, looked either like he, would say he that. told her that, in my opinion, and she believed him, or she's trying to save face because exactly. really, you could tell that Sky hates to get negative attention from the media. She cannot stand for the media to be in her business. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's trying to save face. But do y'all believe that her baby daddy's no. page was hacked? Do you all. think she's telling the truth? Or do you believe that she's trying to save face or he's trying to save face? Y'all let me know what you think. Girl, bye. He seems like a ratchet and he seems like he would post something like that. I saw a clip not too long ago of them arguing and he looked like he was going off. He was talking with his hands and doing the most. Let me see if I can find it. Here you go. I was spotted walking with her alleged baby daddy boyfriend. And honey, it looked like they was having a real heated conversation. Scott was crying and she was looking at him out here with her bonnet on. And looked like she just jumped out of bed and started following him and went for a walk. But between that walk, as y'all can see... It looked like they was really going through it. Mm, 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 mm. But the vibe is giving too young to be pregnant. It's giving learn the person you're dating before having a baby. It's giving live your life and stop playing house so fast. Now, Sky ain't the first and she won't be the last going through young love while pregnant. But why pick a person who don't have more than you? Okay. And everybody in the comments been going in on him. They're wondering where did Sky find him? They're 
labeling him as a thug, okay? I don't know none of his background and, and labeling him as a thug or any of that. But if this man is allowing for Sky to be walking down the street dressed like this, right. big and allegedly pregnant while arguing, ain't the one for <coughs> you. Sky mm. needs to call Hallie, who just had a baby by DDG, and get some advice from her. Girl, she can't get no damn advice herself. You know what? I'm tired of the delusion. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I turn, you know, I look, look, whatever. This is her life. If she want to believe that somebody found him and hacked him, his Facebook page to talk shit about her in the way that he would talk, because <laughs> he looks like he talks like that. Like he looks like he talks exactly like that. If if you want to believe that girl, go ahead, go ahead. Wish you the best with, with your little scammer baby daddy or whatever he got going on. Uh, Ray J and Pastor, I'm not going to say where they could go because <laughs> this man is still a pastor. Uh, but it, it looks like they, they, they're they doing this for attention. Uh, and I, I'm not going to feed into it. I'm not watching that podcast. I don't care nothing about it. Uh, but, yeah, this is what's happening in these ghetto streets today apparently anyway y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you've been watching i'll see y'all the next one bye